To quote a mobile reservation, the first screen that you'll go to is Operations and then Reserve. Click on the Reserve button. Once you're in this screen, you're going to click Add under Reservation. Choose the unit that you'd like to quote. Click Next in the bottom right hand corner. If it's a new person, because it's a quote, you're going to click Add. If it's an existing tenant, you could click all past and current to choose their name from the list. I'm going to click add in this example and fill out their information. Whatever are your required fields in green, you need to fill those out. So once you've filled out the tenant information, click on OK. Yes, we want to add this entry. Then in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click on quote. And then the dispatch button. At the top of the screen, we have predefined services. Typically, you're going to be choosing from one of the predefined services. DE is deliver empty, RF is return full, DF is deliver full, and RE is return empty, and CC is curb to curb. We also have a user defined service section if you have a different flow of the pickup. In this particular case, we're going to choose on site storage, deliver empty return empty. It puts those services on the list. You'll notice that it has our from zip located here and our to zip which we need to fill out. Simply double click on it and it will bring it up. The from location is from your respective company address and the to location by default will be the customer address. In this particular example I did not put in their address yet so it's blank. You would fill in their address and then put in the postal code that they're going to. Once you filled in that information, click OK at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, it will have your default charges that were set up previously in the setup screen. Make sure that those charges are correct. You could type in a discount if you choose to do so. If everything is correct on the screen, click on close and then save on the right hand side. Are we sure we want to commit this? Yes. The last step is that some customers will want to send a lease to this customer to preview the lease prior to actually renting this unit because it is a quote. You can click on preview. It brings up the rental agreement. Obviously this is an illustration so it has this red verbiage, but it would be the verbiage that you've set up for your particular lease. We could print this out or we could export this and attach it to your respective email program to email if you choose to do so. Once completed, close the X and then click on the finish button.